Hey guys, welcome to our first project. This is called Color Bunny. To get the photo for this project, you need to go to this website, but I'll post a link to the description for the exact photo I want you guys to download. But it's facebook.com slash plug pluggerware, which is my channel. So, you go down, and you go to photos, and then it will be called Color Bunny Project. So you click that, you click the picture, and this is what you guys are going to be working with. I already added a description on the side on how to download it, but I'll show you guys right now. You right click the photo, you do save image as, and then I'll just call it color bunny 2, and I'll save it to my desktop. So then you save, when you close that, then it will be saved as color bunny 2 alright and that's how you edit it with photoshop and hold on let me just see if you can actually open it with photoshop alright no see you can't open it with photoshop so this is where this needs to come in so you open it with your image editor right and then you do file so I'm using a Mac and I'm in preview but for Windows people you can use whatever your basic image editing is and you just do file save as and then you could save it as a JPEG or a PNG if you want so then I'm gonna call this color bunny finished and then you save so now I have a color bunny finished next to my color bunny too and when I try to open this one with Photoshop it works so that's how to do that and this is what we're gonna be working with so I'm gonna go ahead and delete these and I'm gonna close this so this is what color bunny is color bunny uses the basic tools of Photoshop that I showed you in the previous two lessons and it mainly requires you to be creative and use what you've learned so these are some examples that people in my class in previous years have done and this is the original you're gonna be working with so as you can see you basically use the paintbrush all these tools that I showed you you can use marquees and cut stuff out so these are what other people have done. That one's pretty nice. They used filters and stuff. And these are some of my favorites down here. This one is a Charlie Brown. See they used a marquee to cut off the cut off the hood and they painted it. And they put painted some stuff in the background. It's like a Charlie Brown Christmas. And then there's this one which I think looks really clean just because of the way they did it. Looks like they had prior Photoshop experience. But it doesn't mean you guys can't do the better than this also. And then the last one is some type of Slayer Bunny, which I mean it's kind of creepy, but it looks it looks really good. And they drew this chainsaw and they made a wanted sign where they used their paintbrush to draw all that in the background and they made the fading hood look really good too and I'll show you guys how to do that in the lesson after this and you could keep watching the lessons and work on your color bunny as we go on but this is just the, describing the project so if you open your color bunny in Photoshop your original then you'll you might try to paint with a paintbrush or the paint bucket and it'll leak all over and that's because the lines are not are not well made which is primarily to teach you guys to do this on your own so what you want to do is create a new layer and call it lines or if you're feeling up to it you could delete that and just work on your background because you want to have a solid background to begin with so what you do is you take your paintbrush, you make it black, 
and you change the size by going up here to this arrow and dragging this size. You want it to be pretty small, maybe about two pixels. And then you want to draw with your black to fill in these lines. Obviously you want to do it a lot better than that because I'm so used to working with my tablet that I can't really draw with a mouse, but you get the idea. You want to go in work with these lines and then see if I cut it off here if I tried to use a paint bucket and paint it blue then it would fill in without leaking so you want to go through and cha change the lines go over the lines with your paintbrush and make it so you can use the paint bucket or you can just paint with your normal paintbrush and just do it really carefully along the sides like that. So that's the project. You guys can submit it to the Facebook page in which I provide in the description. It's going to be in the same photo album that you downloaded this bunny from. And hopefully you guys experiment and have a good time with this and we'll see. We'll pick a top 10 in maybe a week to two weeks depending on how many people actually submit their color bunnies. but you really should try this because it actually helps you a lot to play around with Photoshop. Alright, uh, I'll be showing you guys burning and dodging which makes for a color bunny to look look like the chainsaw one. It It's basically just adding shading to your bunny and that'll be a very quick lesson because there's not much to show you and you guys can actually make your bunnies look a lot better with that. Alright, see you YouTube and See you next video.